Well, recently we talked to Dr. Sonia Spencer about the new thing that they're doing here at Spencer Chiropractic. It's called Brain Core Therapy. Well, I wanted to find out a little bit more about it and actually be tested myself. But uh, if you would, Dr. Spencer, tell us again about Brain Core Therapy and what it does. Well, Brain Core Therapy is a neurofeedback and it all begins with what's called a QEEG. A QEEG is the test that we're going to be doing on you today. And people uh, typically get neurofeedback for a variety of conditions. Some of the conditions they would choose neurofeedback for are ADHD, anxiety problems, stress, chronic pain, memory, PTSD, and those types of conditions. Yeah, Neuro- three of those you hit on my, uh, the ones that I put on my, <laughs> yes. my questionnaire itself. <clears throat> And so in going over your history and so forth, uh, your history is a match for some of the conditions that would respond to neurofeedback. Neurofeedback uh, has been around for a long time and has been studied in all the major medical universities and so forth. And it's been available clinically in office settings for the last 10 years. There's never been any negative uh, reported side effects from neurofeedback. It's safe and effective. So it all begins with the test that we're going to be doing, and I'm going to explain that to you today, how we do the test. Uh, This is the cap that we put onto your head, Mm -hmm. and it contains several different sensors. And these sensors are going to uh, detect the electrical currents that are coming out of your brain, and they're going to send some feedback into our database. What we're going to be doing is mapping several different points in your brain, 12 to be exact, that are shown here in yellow. Now these points correspond to what's called global dysregulation. All of these different points mean something in your brain and control various things about your brain. And also we look for what's called um, global dysregulation of the alpha, beta, theta, and delta. All of those different types of brain waves uh, control different aspects of what's going on in a person. When those brain waves become dysregulated, it can cause a variety of symptoms, just like the ones we've previously discussed. This is a non-invasive test. There's nothing that's harmful or... There's no, there's no electricity involved here. You know, don't think it's a shockwave thing. No. Uh, one question that you talk about how it maps out you know, women and men, they say are the right brain, left brain thing. Mm-hmm. Does, uh, we, how does it affect that differently with, with, between men and women? There is no difference between the men and mm-hmm. women. Everyone has what's called normative data mm-hmm. uh, of how the brain should work, and brain waves uh, work in certain hertz. And so we know what a normative data is, and when we get this information in, it's sent into a database and you're compared to a normative database. So for example, the lower and slower um, brain waves such as delta and theta are going to occur when you're trying to sleep at night. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't want those occurring while you're trying to be, you wouldn't want an abundance of those while you're trying to get your work done during the day. You wouldn't want to be nodding out. And those are more frequent in babies. You see that babies spend a lot of time sleeping during the day, right. during their first six months of life. So they, they have a budget night sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but they have an abundance <clears throat> of, of those particular brain waves. So, and um, what we do is see if you have dysregulation in the four types of, uh, of brain waves, where those brain waves could be dysregulated in your brain, and better yet, how we can correct those. It gives us a different protocol. Mm-hmm. Uh, it gives us protocols to correct the brain waves. Another interesting uh, dynamic to this is this QEEG is the gold standard for neurofeedback. If if you're getting neurofeedback without having this done and you're just going on a symptom base, like say a person just comes in and says, hey, I'm having anxiety, let me get neurofeedback for my anxiety and you haven't performed this and you don't know the particular sites that are dysregulated, you're just guessing. So without this gold standard, which this is the gold standard for neurofeedback, Mm -hmm. you're just, you know, guessing what's wrong with the patient. So this is the gold standard. Well, when you do this, um, because you had me do this uh, before, you know, we'll we'll do the test um, here again here soon. But 
when you did this, I had to go online mm -hmm. and fill out a questionnaire. Absolutely. Uh, and it asks you all kinds of questions, um, asks you your symptoms, right? Uh, what problems you're having. And I had to sit there and think about it for just for a little bit because uh, when I think of symptom, symptoms, I'm thinking, oh, do I have a pain in my back or something like that, pull muscle? But it's nothing like that, really. No. It's all mental it's and all emotional. Mental and emotional. Because if you think about the brain, the brain is very complex and it controls our emotional or our limbic cent centers. Mm -hmm. It also controls you know, things to do with anger, depression, those types of things. If the brain is not working correctly, then it causes those types of symptoms uh, to occur in people memory problems you, you saw some of those types of things yeah that's Dis one of the things that i mentioned in my when i feel that my is you know i can meet someone mm -hmm. hear their name introduce them within a few minutes i'll forget their name i'll remember their face for the longest time but their name sorry nothing personal but that's mm -hmm. <laughs> just i just can't do it exactly and so there's certain parts of the brain that correspond more to memory and uh more to different types of symptoms. Disorganization, uh, lots of people have problems with organization, uh, getting things organized in their life and, and so forth. We, I was talking to, um, this morning I was talking to a person who's a coach for a basketball team. You know, people get overexcited when they go to make that last f free throw that could win the championship. Mm -hmm. This type of um, because the brain gets overexcited and, and you know, doesn't know how to handle all the brain waves coming to them. This, this type of neurofeedback is actually used in peak performance for athletes who are wow. you know, trying to, to, to make that winning shot without having their brain get overexcited. Well, better than steroids or something like that. Absolutely. Or, or, you know, uh, because when the, brain is, when the brain is calm, you're, you work better. You, know, you work better when you're not responding to stress uh, through the you know over sympathetic stimulation, and this test is is $150 and it's not covered by insurance. So I want to stress that and Medicaid Medicare does not cover this. It's strictly cash based, but it's well worth it if you want to find out if you have dysregulated brain waves. Well, I tell you what, we're, we've run out of time today, but come back next week because I'm going to have the test done on me and uh, see what kind of issues. That, um, that hopefully, I'm sure, this can help and how easy it is. So thank you again, Dr. Spencer. I look forward to it. Going to get hooked up this brain core therapy coming up uh, in our next edition, our next visit with Dr. Sonia Spencer at Spencer Chiropractic located on Pass Road in Gulfport. Remember last week we were at Dr. Spencer's office talking about brain core therapy. Well, this week I'm actually going to have my brain mapped yes and figure it out so and it's painless so we're going to put the the uh the cap on me now i'm gonna hold this here you look so cute jim already <laughs> and it fits that bald head easy doesn't it It does you shaved your head just for us I, right yes yes i did uh, now, all right we got all the sensors in the right place and it's actually going to map all the areas like we talked about last time where we have the sensors mm -hmm. and what's going to happen is this little cord right here is going to give us some feedback into our machine here mm -hmm. and Susan is going to hook you up and begin this painless test okay and we're going to find out if you have global or focal dysregulation like we talked about that may be contributing to your stress and anxiety okay are you ready to get the test started I'm ready let's do okay. this okay all right. Well, what Susan's going to do is is hook you up and and put some sensors on your ear. Mm -hmm. And again, this puts no electricity at all into your body. What it does is it reads the elect electrical activity that's already present going on in your brain, looking for uh, brainwave activity in the four different uh, brain waves: alpha, beta, delta, and theta. Okay. okay. And we're looking for dysregulation on all these sites like we talked about. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is step out and let Susan do her magic, and when, we're, we're, when we are done, we're gonna come back and give you your results. You excited right. about that? I'm excited, let's do this. All right, well hook Susan's gonna hook you up. All right, so Susan hooked me up with the cap and everything, and then she ran 
two sets of tests on me. One uh, set for six minutes and it's six one minute tests with my eyes closed. And the second set, six minutes, one minute each with my eyes open to try to map out and get my brain report. So now Dr. Spencer back in here with me, talk about my results. Yes, Jim, we're gonna talk about your results. So here is your, the results of your QEEG or your brain map results. Mm -hmm. This is a summary of your brain map and these are all the sites that we tested. The sites in red here are your most dysregulated sites. The C, C3 and C4 mm -hmm. and P3 and P4. Now that does not mean that the sites in green are normal. It means that the red sites are the most dysregulated. Similar to if you had a forest fire, mm -hmm. you would have hot spots in that, that fire. Right. So the red, the red spots are the My hot, hot spots, spots. Okay. yes. So in looking at global dysregulation mm -hmm. and the meters here, you have an 85% probability that you have beta dysregulation. Remember we talked about the four different types of brain waves. Right. So your, your primary um, symptoms that you were coming in here for to see if you had dysregulation were anxiety and stress. Mm -hmm. So anxiety is the number one symptom right mm -hmm. here for beta dysregulation. Some of the other things that um, could show up here are worry, obsessive thinking, restless, dislike change, some of those things. It's, it's a uh, part of, it's a brain wave that is associated with fast processing mm -hmm. and so forth. So you have a match between your symptom and your brain wave dysregulation. So that means that you would be a candidate for neurofeedback. Okay. And based on that, um, you would probably respond well. Now, looking at your focal site dysregulation, some of your symptoms that you reported also match the spots on your brain that are associated with different symptoms. For example, if we look here at anger, mm -hmm. agitation, irritability, those are sites, those are symptoms where you have a site dysregulation going on. And so what we do is um, the, uh, the brain map tells us, since it tells us where the most dysregulated sites are in your brain, mm -hmm. we know exactly where we need to train your brain in order to correct the dysregulation of brain waves. Okay. There's a lot of other stuff going on here with your, with your brain. In looking at... Um, alpha and beta. Mm -hmm. For alpha dysregulation, um, for alpha, all of the alpha should be on one side of the brain. Okay. Let me show you that, Jim. For alpha dysregulation, a normal sh a shift in the normal asymmetry of how alpha, higher alpha on the left at one or more sites. Okay? You have that here. Okay. But Is that good? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you would want that spot to be right over here. Oh, okay. okay. But look at the beta. A shift in the normal asymmetry of beta. Higher beta on the right at one or more sites. Look at all the sites where you have high beta. All of that should be on the left side. So my brain is backwards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. So all of your high beta should be on this left <clears throat> side. Okay, but it's on the right side. It's on the right side. So when we train your brain, um, we're, we're going to be working to shift this asymmetry of beta. And again, that's the number one component that showed up on your dysregulation is the beta asymmetry. Okay. And that's the number one thing that we would focus on. Okay. Also... We've got a little bit more than a minute left. Okay. And looking at this map here, you have very high magnitudes of, of beta going on here, extremely high. This should be completely green where it says okay. So very high magnitudes of beta are again associated with 
with those symptoms that, that we just discussed. So again, neurofeedback is great for all sorts of neurological conditions that um, people have to take medications for long term. Mm -hmm. Um, you're not taking medication for no. stress and anxiety, which means that neurofeedback works much faster for you than someone who's over-medicated or taking a lot of medications. Your brain is easier to train when you're, when you're not medicating it. Um, that doesn't mean that neurofeedback doesn't work for people who are on medication, but uh, this is used by uh, every, uh, lots of major researchers mm -hmm. and is available right here now in Gulfport, Mississippi in our office. Well, we're going to come back on another day and show you what kind of exercises that my brain needs to do to try to get it swapped. Anyway, thank you so much, Dr. Sonny Spencer. You really need to come check this out. This is amazing. It's for kids and adults. Come talk to them at Dr. Spencer's office.